Wow, good morning. We are in Page, Arizona. It's really frosty this morning. Uh, beautiful though, nice sky. I mean, why are we here? Well, look, we've taken our channel and done some documentaries on Route 66 on Sturgis uh, before the rally. We want to showcase Lake Powell and Page, Arizona. These people have a resort here. They have a lake here full of water, paddle boards, water skiing, houseboating. We want to showcase that, the restaurants and the great people of Page. I mean, and we've been here several times. We've always looked at the lake. I mean, a few years ago, it was about 40 feet higher. There's still a lot of water in the lake, and we're going to show you that you can do a lot in this town, this area, this region. Well, and it, it never fails. We always have a diesel pulling in behind us as we start talking, but <laughs> we're starting the morning off here in Page at the Bloon Regatta. We got off this morning at 6.30, walked over to the golf course here, rode over to the golf course. This is the 19th year they've had this balloon regatta. Raises funds for education. There's gonna be like 50 or 60 balloons up today. It's gonna to be great to see. We'll see the balloons at night. We'll see the balloons this morning. The sky's awesome, but you know what? We're gonna show you the lake, places around the lake, businesses, the people we meet. We rode in yesterday, 550 miles. We're stoked to be here and we can't wait to share it with you. So this is how we're shaking hands with America and we hope you enjoy this series. Pretty crazy. I was really hoping we could get the two of you up in a balloon, but this is one of the first ones up, and you can see how big it is, the fire going up. This is going to be fun to watch them take off. I don't know, that basket's so small, I don't know if I'd want to hop in there and go floating around the sky. It might be pretty cool, though. You, you got to do it, and next time we're here and we get you in a balloon, they call it getting pinned. I can't tell you what that means. <laughs> so those of you that know what getting pinned means, give us a subscription. Tell us what it is. Well, man, these things are huge. <laughs> Hey, check this little guy out behind us. He's got some arms and he's got some legs. I don't know, there's a dude over here with some pretty big hefty arms on the other <laughs> side over here. I mean, it, the sky is full of color. The landscape is a colorful landscape, so this is really great. Well, the hues you're gonna get off the cliffs and then the color of the balloons, it's pretty damn cool. They're actually running down the cliff line here. They run themselves into Antelope Canyon, catch the downdraft, get down into that canyon pretty deep. I mean, I've never seen this. I mean, it's pretty mind blowing and it just, it, it's funny. It's just like a little uh, helium balloon you're holding, except it's giant with people in it. Well, Weird. we're only at one of four launch points. So think how many balloons have gone up here and there's four other, three other launch points. So we should find some people to talk about this, you know? And they can explain what it is. That would be good to know. But tonight's going to be cool because what? They're going to light them They'll up light on the them street. Up. Yeah. Oh, great. So, well, that was pretty spectacular, I got to say. So what we have going on here is one of my departments, which is special events. And this is our annual um, Lake Powell, well, we now call it Page, Arizona Balloon Regatta. My name is Lynn Cormier, and I'm the Director of Community and Recreation Services for this city. This is the 19th year for us and we have a perfect perfect morning. So the last two mornings haven't been very good, but this is great. And we have the best turnout always on our Saturday mornings because this is our sponsor flights. So we have 68 balloons this year. We had four fall away, so we actually have 64 of them here in town, and every one of them is linked with a sponsor. So those sponsors get to go up today on their balloons, so they're excited. From the sponsors, they help pay for the event itself and then also go back into the community for different things either schools, teaching, materials, food bank, stuff like that. My name's Bill Dyack. I'm the mayor of the city of Page, and I've been the mayor since 2010. Took a two-year hiatus for a little bit, needed to rest and uh, recuperate, and uh, back in it again, just re-elected, start my new term next two years in November. We have a lot going on this week. Uh, the balloon regatta usually encompasses about four or five days, starting from Wednesday through Sunday. But for yesterday and today, we had the downtown street fair. So we have vendors, they're lining the whole downtown, and we have the ever popular glow tonight. So we literally close off a huge street downtown and we line up 21 balloons and they light up like Christmas trees. They're beautiful. If you've ever seen 21 of these lined up at night, it's gorgeous. I love Page, Arizona, just because it's a mecca of outdoor activities. 
Um, we move here for the outdoors, we move here for the climate, but we move here mostly for the landscape. And we get so many people that come here and say, I've never been in a Red Rock environment like this. We have the slot canyons and Vermilion Cliffs and come visit Page, Arizona. We'd love to have you. So what a great way to start the morning and start the week off with this uh, page series. It's going to be wonderful to learn all the history, but I look back and these balloons are just amazing and soaring out there. What's our next stop? I mean, first I want to just say I'm mind blown with seeing the balloons go up in the air. It was really a great way to start. But anyway, we're going to go over to Glen Canyon Dam. We're going to look at the lake. We're going to show you that there's still water in the lake, 400 plus feet still. Well, last night when we, at dinner, we heard a little bit of history about families that came in yeah. to help support the building of the dam. We're gonna learn that history today and go check it out. So let's go. Wow, I'm pretty pumped. We made it to the Glen Canyon Dam at the Carl Hayden Visitor Center. And there's a lot of great information in there. I'm blown away. I mean, you walk up to this place. First of all, the setting is, is amazing, the, the structures and the, the natural terrain around here. And then you see this engineering feat. For sure. I mean, it took them 10 years, 11 years to build this. Started wow. in 1955, finished it in 1966. But 63, they started filling with water. And this thing is 710 feet tall. When it's full, this thing is 186 miles long. It's called Lake Powell. Let's get that out there first, okay? Right, right. It's not a thing, it's a reservoir. It's one of the largest man-made reservoirs in the country. And this thing has over 2,000 miles of shoreline. That's amazing, but it still has plenty of water to have a great time here. There's boats out there. You could do all kinds of recreations. You gotta come and see this place. Well, that brings me to another point about the city of Page. I mean, think about this. They started that encampment up there to bring people in to help build the dam in 1955. And not until 1975 did it become an actual city. And so we've been all across the country. We've seen cities in the late 1700s, early 1800s. And to think about this is a really new city. Yes. Man. So it's great because we meet people all over and, and we've met a lot of great people already in this great town. Had some good food. We have a lot to explore. We're going to go to Horseshoe Bend next and check well, it out. Let's get there and then later tonight we're going to see the balloon flame. Oh, I can't wait to can't see wait that. Can't wait to see that, man. <laughs> Down the road. Hey, we're sitting here in Page. We are where? The Birdhouse Chicken and Beer? I didn't realize we were rolling. He said rolling. Oh, that's where we're at. We actually, we're heading down to Glen Canyon Dam, um, down Lake Powell Boulevard, and we looked off to our right, and it said fried chicken and cold beer. And that's enough to make a big U-turn. We had to do it. <laughs> We've got some spicy chicken here. Broccoli salad, we got fries. Josh kind of went healthy with spicy chicken salad. Although he did get mashed potatoes and gravy. I mean, it smells good, it looks good. I mean, this is, there's so many different things in this uh, small town of Page to find and explore. For sure. And food's part of that. Let's so. get to eating. Let's eat. <laughs> We've been here several times and and this is a midday saturday and it is packed so where have we been several times horseshoe bend yes that's right we i mean have. there's a lot of tourists here well part of it i think you've got the balloon regatta for page one of their biggest events so i'm sure they've got a bunch of people in town 
looks like there's some foreign individuals here. I heard German accents, Asian accents, so I mean, maybe it's back open. I mean, we're gonna probably try and sneak around the corner over there and see if we can get a spot where we can show you what it looks like. We are gonna come back later today, tomorrow, to try and make it happen with less people. That's right, and maybe a different view. People don't know this, but this place is an amusement park. It was man-made, it was built in 1987. You were there during the construction. Well, we are the channel of misinformation. Yeah, so this is fake. It's man-made. But in all <laughs> seriousness, right, we're uh, just below Glen Canyon Dam, about five miles outside of Page, Arizona. Uh, there's about a mile and a half walk down here, a mile and a quarter down and back. I, I just can't get over the vast grandeur of this place. Every time we come, it's a different view. It looks different in different lighting. It's spectacular. It's beautiful. It's midday Saturday, and there are hundreds of people down here. The parking lot's full. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, everyone from around the world is coming here to see this. It's the most photographed place, or one of the most photographed place in the world. Um, so we're going to come back either later today or tomorrow and actually show you it with less people. Yeah, and I'd encourage you to go out and just Google this because there's some spectacular photos out there. It'll make you want to get here, and uh, you're going to come to a great little town here of 7,500 people, and they'll treat you right. Another great thing about this place is sunsets in the west, which is behind us over here, and that every day people come here for the sunset. So let's come back. Yeah. Later. to the 98 turn right up here in about a half a mile, quarter mile, and uh, go up to Antelope Canyon. It's the lower canyon. They do have an upper canyon, but we're going to go check out if there's tours available and see if we can get up in one of those this week while we're here. I would love that for sure if we could do that. Yes, uh, we looked at some videos and some photography and it just looks insane in some of these you know, canyons that you can walk through. It's just spectacular. Look at that. So Page, Arizona is down there straight ahead. We're going to turn right. And is this a finger of the lake or what, what are we looking at here? What, down below us? No, when we get up to Antelope, is it part of the lake or is it a canyon? It's new to me, so I'm not sure, but I think it's off of the canyon. They were going on the balloon ride this morning. They go into Antelope Canyon, and it pushes them out towards the lake. Gotcha. Well, so I'm sure there's got to be a piece of it somewhere. I just don't know how high or low we're going to be. We'll see when we get up here. So this is somewhere new that we haven't been, and uh, we're in the state of Arizona, and we're finding another spot. I mean, look at the scenery around here. It's beautiful. So, you know, these are the things we do. We tell you what we're up to. We're going to go find a new spot. All right, well, that was great at Horseshoe Bend. Uh, let's go see what we got ahead of us. Roger that. See ya. Down that road. This is really cool sitting down here. There's a lot of water. I, I love the, the cliff line here. I'm glad we found this spot. Yeah, it's pretty damn peaceful. Uh, we're at the bottom of the ramp and you can see that we're a fair amount down from the water, but man, there's still a ton of water in here. I mean, this ramp is unusable now, but right now you can see there's a boat down there. It's got surfboards, kayaks. So I have to tell you, um, river running with my dad, you river running, it's amazing when you think about the cliffs and how this was you know up on the green up on the Colorado and then all of a sudden you're in this vast lake but you're seeing the same kind of structures that we used to look up you know seemed like for miles yeah. this is cool though it's really beautiful it's really quiet super peaceful and when we stop talking nice well with that we're not done yet today no uh, I think we're going to see that big old flame up that they do in, in downtown Page with all the balloons. They close Main Street down. I think it's Lake Powell Boulevard, what they call Main Street, or I call Main Street. And they set the balloons down the street. Yeah. And then they, I think they have like music playing and the balloons are shooting the, fl the flame to the music. So and it's a light, light show. Those. It's a light show. It's amazing. So, you know, we've been here several times. We've never spent more than lunch or a dinner through here. 
But now we're spending some time here, and it's really, I didn't know the Balloon Fest was that important to this town. Very important. So. Probably their biggest, you know, fundraiser uh, draw for tourism here. Uh, so it's a very important thing for them. So A lot to do. Lot we got to, to see it. Yeah. Well, let's get back to the shack. Yeah. All right. We came here to watch the balloons get lit up and have some dinner and we're walking in here and Galen makes a beeline over here and he wants to talk to someone and I'm like, why does he know this guy? It's like they were best friends or something. So what happened? <laughs> well, I think as we put ourselves out there, people get to know us and so they're our friends when we walk up to them. Yeah. Uh, but I was beelining it to him to ask where Judy Franz was. Uh, and he looked at me and he said, forget you. No, I'm kidding. But he's like, <laughs> hey, I know you guys. And we follow you all over. This is Tim and his wife, Ann. Yep. They ride all over the place as well. Oh, yeah, yeah we sure. do. Yep, big Where's fans. your next trip? Wednesday, we're riding to uh, Redondo Beach, California. And uh, we're going to go a little bit up north on Highway 1 just to get out of town. We've been working for about a week and a half straight with, with this. And, uh, try to get try to get in one more ride before the weather uh, kicks in. Fantastic. So you live in Page. Yeah, I'm the chief of police here, and my well, he wife comes from Southern California. Okay, yeah. comes from. This and is who's my mother-in-law, Donna. Oh, oh my God, what is that? That's <laughs> a microphone. <laughs> Hello. And what do you ride? I ride a kingpin. Kingpin. Victory kingpin. All right. Yes. You gotta well, see his Indian. <laughs> really nice, huh? So, yeah. do you have a challenge coin or something for us? I do. Uh, we've actually been hauling challenge coins around for the last couple of years all over the country looking for you guys. <laughs> and uh, it's just weird you find me at work. But yeah, this is uh, Page PD's challenge coin. Awesome. Uh, our, our, uh, we're about courage, compassion, and integrity. And uh, that's on our challenge coin. It has a picture of the dam and stuff on it. And this one's for Josh. So, so wait a second. He's the chief of police. He's yeah. been hunting us down all over the country, and we found him. <laughs> right. Yeah. Whoa. We're detectives. It doesn't say a lot, does it? <laughs> <laughs> but I have to tell you, you know we support first responders, and you're both officers here for yes. the town, right? Yes. And so we're here trying to showcase the town. We appreciate the hard work that you and your team put together for, for all the citizens. But honestly, thank you for your service. Yes. We appreciate his, that. His brother-in-law is the fire chief. Well, we need to talk to him, too. <laughs> wow, we got a whole family of service here. All right. That's awesome. No, we appreciate you guys. We know you support law enforcement, public safety, and, man, we're about every everything you guys are about and, and, and the way you promote uh, just bike riding. It is. It's truly a family. I, I've never seen you, and we just feel like we know you guys and your wives, man, inside out. Awesome. So the two-lane life family keeps getting bigger and bigger, and we love it. That's why we shake hands with America. Well, I'll yeah. tell you what. This is fate again. Yes. I love it. I love what we're doing. So thank, thank you guys for the support, and can we just get to see you down the road? We'll do a three, two, one. Yep. Three, two, one. See you down, see you down, the, down road. the road. fate would have it when we started planning this trip we had no idea the balloon festival was going to be here it started 19 years ago and 19 we are years here. ago and uh well i gotta tell you i've never seen i've seen balloons go up and light up but i've never seen them lined up on a street like this so hey man there's stuff to do on the lake there's stuff to do in the dirt sand rock climbing whatever and look now there's a big balloon regatta well and i gotta tell you this is their largest tourism event and you can see it by all the people that are walking up and down the street here it's great to see everyone out having a good time come visit page let's go get some dinner i'll be riding riding high. man what a great day today we saw the balloons go off in the morning, and then we just watched them all light up when they were sitting here on Lake Powell Boulevard. 
we finally made it to the State 48 Tavern. We're going to do a little piece here later in the week with Adam Cranston. Uh, it should be awesome with him and talk about the restaurant here. What did you like about today? I, I loved going to Horseshoe Bend. I loved seeing the balloons. I loved seeing the water down in the lake. That was awesome. Um, coming here tonight and seeing the balloons on the street, all just sitting there, but like being a, a light show. Amazing. That was pretty epic. I mean, you don't get to see that much. And hey, I'm looking forward to this great dinner we got sitting right here. Yeah, you guys got the salmon, right? Got the salmon and rice, a little shot of whiskey here. Yep, we got a little libation on my side. That's a little taller than yours, though. Well, you know, I've been drinking it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got the sirloin and the rice and asparagus, but uh, I'd love to get to eating this stuff. Tomorrow, we may run to the Vermilion Cliffs. We'll see what happens, we'll but I'm yeah. thinking that's where we're going. So nothing like a great day of exploring and having a good time on the open road and then hitting a nice bar and having a great dinner. That always... For sure. And the other thing, we met some great people today. Tim and his wife, Ann. I mean, that was awesome. That was awesome because they've been following us for a long time, and he's been searching for us. We got to meet him, It was, and he's part of the family that's, now. That's that faith thing. So I love it, man. Let's get to eating and get down that road. Boom. So what another great trip. Uh, you and I get into a couple little arguments. No, we, we don't have, have to fun. say that. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> no um, arguments. You it's know just what? Talk. This is what happens when brothers are on the road together. Uh, we shit talk. We have fun. We meet really great people. Yes, and that's all uh, part of we it. We met Tim and Ann tonight. Uh, police chief here in Page. That's been following She's us. also an uh, officer here. Yes. And they've been trying to find us. You made a funny about what? But they, they've been trying to find us all over the country, and we <laughs> found them in their hometown. That's right. So, so you know, yeah. we go out on these trips, and we want to show you guys this really cool stuff that we see, and we hope it helps you when you're planning your next journey. Get out, come and visit Page, Arizona. It's really an awesome place. And we have a lot more to show. We're doing some interviews with some restaurateurs, some business owners here. Tomorrow, we got an interview in the morning, but I'll bet you we can get out to the Vermilion Cliffs by the afternoon and back home. Uh, probably can. That would be great. So, hey, with that, we'll continue watching oh, the series, wait. and we will down the road. Down the road.